Bula and Namaste. Welcome to your Fiji Sun News Bulletin. In the news today, the Social Democratic Liberal Party, Sodalpa, is happy with the government's decision to have another round of electronic voter registration, EVR. Party Executive Ratu Choni Kumbumbola said the registration would strengthen their membership. The Attorney General and the Minister responsible for elections, Aya said Kayum, confirmed on Saturday that another round of electronic voter registration will take place next month. The focus is on registering potential voters who missed the last opportunity to register in areas like Rewa, Naitasiri, Mbua and Madhuata. The Paramount Chief of Rewa, Rote Mumukepa, is the party president of Sodelpa. Also, the Shui Sanatan Dharam Pratindi Sabah has a legal battle on its hand. This follows the takeover of one of the Central Division's biggest Hindu temples, the Sanatan Shiv Mandir at Samambula at 4 p.m. yesterday. The dispute over the running of the temple has been ongoing for some time, with the former national president of the Sabah, Diwan Chan Marad, saying the temple's committee had abused their positions. But this has, not, this has been denied by the temple president, Ravishwar Chandra, who said they had engaged the lawyer and would fight the national body in the High Court over the control of the property. The committee will meet their lawyer today. In business, the, UK, the, la, the early floods of last year did not deter the team of UK-based action comedy film Bula Ko from shooting the film here. The film is now set for the world premiere in Fiji today. It will screen at Village 6 Cinemas in Suva at 7 p.m. tonight, while the official release will be on May 20 in Fiji. The film stars UK rock band Status Quo's frontman Frank Francis Rossi and Rick Puffett as lead actors. With Mr. Rossi and Mr. Puffett busy in the UK promoting the film before its official release on July 5, a number of key people from the film are in Fiji for the world premiere. They include the director Stuart St. Paul, producer Tim Major, actress Jean Hurd and publicist Chris Hewlett with a number of other people. In sport, National Netball Rep Lucy Kotumbolov was the star for her Magic Marlin side in the grand final of the 2013 Cheers Netball Super League in Singapore on Saturday. The side beat Mission Manners, which also had Fijian player Racheli Ndaviwa, 40-36 at the Toa Payo Sports Ground. Both players have settled into their teams well over the past four weeks and look very comfortable at adapting to the Singaporean style of play while being confident enough to drive up the pace of the game and push their attacks forward. Magic Marlins took top honors for the third year, running in a match that held the crowd's attention um, to the final whistle. The previous encounters this season have been getting closer with each match, though the Marlins hold bragging rights from all three, 50-46 in round one, 50-48 in round two, and 38-37 in last week's semi-final match. Before we go, let's take a look at the weather. Occasional showers over most places, isolated heavy falls and thunderstorms expected. Showers expected to gradually clear from the west from tomorrow. Moderate east to northeast winds, fresh at times, winds turning northerly from later today and moderate seas. That's all from the newsroom for now. Have a good day.